สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today's video is another one of my Thai Ingredients 101 series. So if you have any questions about Thai ingredients, I might have a video that answers your question. I will link to that playlist in the description below. But today we're going to talk about palm sugar, or in Thai, น้ำตาลปี๊บ or น้ำตาลปึก And it's a very integral ingredient. It, it, we use it a lot in desserts and also in pad thai, which is our iconic dish. But I do get a lot of questions around it, so hopefully we will get them all answered today. Let's get started. So, what is palm sugar? So, palm sugar is sugar that's made from, get this, the nectar of the flowers of either the coconut trees or the sugar palm tree, also known as the toddy palm tree. So if it's made from the coconut tree, then it's also known as coconut sugar. Which yes, a coconut sugar is a type of palm sugar, and in Thai we would then call that nam tan ma p r a o ma p r a o being coconut. And if it is made from toddy palm trees, then we call it nam tan t a n o d But the general term for palm sugar for either of these types of palm sugar is nam tan p i p or nam tan p u k b e e p actually refers to the tin container that they used to come in. Namtan just means sugar, and b u k refers to the pucks that they are often formed into. So I know that's a, a bit of a complicated situation, but that is the point. Is there are two types of palm sugar made from two different types of trees. The flavor, however, are very very similar. I have tasted them side by side, and honestly, I could taste the difference. But if you gave me one separately, I couldn't tell you. What was what? So don't worry about what type of palm sugar you are using. So how is it made? So the nectar starts out as a liquid that's very watery, but it's aromatic and sweet and absolutely delicious. You can get it as a drink in Thailand. It's called nam tan sot. Oh, so good! I just love it. Um, but then you cook that down. Eventually, you evaporate all the water, and what you're left with is just the, the sugar, right? So it's a very similar to making maple syrup for those of you who are Canadian and very familiar with how maple syrup is made. You take the water and you cook it down, and the way you collect the nectar. This is where it gets a little difficult because you have to cut the flowers and hang a bucket, basically, where the flower is, and then just let the water drip into it and go back and collect it. Coconut trees are not super tall, but toddy palm trees are incredibly, incredibly tall. They're like the super tall, skinny version of a coconut tree, and it's all manual labor. So, like somebody has to climb up that tree. So it's it's harder to find the toddy palm sugar. So most of the palm sugar on the market, I think, are coconut sugar. Here's a million dollar question. Are all palm sugars created equal? And the answer is absolutely not. There are no official grades or anything, but there are levels of purity. So, most palm sugar on the market, the one that you buy, especially outside of Thailand, is mixed with various degrees of white granulated sugar. Newsflash: Yes, most of it is not pure, and this is done basically to cut costs because, as I mentioned, it's a lot of work to collect the palm nectar and then to reduce it down. So it's expensive to get pure palm sugar. So most of the stuff that you buy is mixed, and that of how much white sugar is mixed in. That's when the different quality comes into play. It could be a little bit, like 25%, or it could be a lot, up to 75%. So then, how do you tell? Because there's actually no requirement that they should label it on the bag. Trust me, like I've seen bags where it says 100% palm sugar, and I know it is not 100% palm sugar. Um, so, but here's how you can tell. So I've got in front of me here three different types of palm sugar, three different grades. Okay, so this one is the cheapest one. Um, incidentally, it's the one that says 100% palm sugar on the bag, which is. Unlikely, um, but what you'll notice is if I open this up, meaning I cut it, it's almost crunchy. Like it's got a very granulated texture to it, and the color is also lighter than the one next to it. It's more yellow. That one's a little more sort of dark beige. If I taste it, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's crunchy. Like it's a, it's like eating granulated sugar. My guess, and I'm very confident about this guess, is that this has a ton of granulated sugar. The reason why it's cheap, the reason why it's available all over the place, like this is the stuff that you would get at a non-Thai grocery store. Um, it's just everywhere, uh, but it's also 
probably the least pure of them all and there's not a whole lot of flavor to it like it's just sweet and yeah there's a little bit of like aroma and flavor of palm sugar but it's very weak right if this is the only one you have access to i mean it's better than white sugar but i'm just letting you know that they're different now this next one up is the one that i get from a my local specialty thai grocery store so it's like a specifically Thai grocery store, so they import something a little better. These people are actually honest and mention on the package that it is not pure palm sugar, that there is um, what they say sucrose and glucose mixed into it. And I appreciate that, but it doesn't say how much. But already, if you look at the texture, it's different. And just watch when I cut into it. On my knife, it feels a little denser, a little less crumbly and a little more, I don't know, almost feels a little more moist. It's still a little bit crumbly, but not as much as the other one. And when I taste it, it's a lot softer. Like, oh, and the flavor already is so much better. Like I actually taste palm sugar flavor in my mouth. Tastes good, smells good. Um, so this is usually what I use and it's fine for everyday cooking. It's a lot more expensive than the other one. So there's that. And so side by side, it's a little bit different. And side by side, just texture, if I hold it in my hand, like this one crumbles, this one doesn't crumble as easily. It's a little stickier. This last one is what I think is pure palm sugar. And again, I say I think because there's no requirement to like, to disclose real information, but just by looking at it, by tasting, it's very different. So this one comes in sort of like a soft paste form. Um, when I pick it up, it's very soft. And then when I taste it, this is, I mean, it can look a certain way, but really the proof is when you taste it. So good. It's so much stronger. It's almost like butterscotch. It has a sort of a caramel butterscotch flavor, but almost a little bit of acidity as well from the nectar. Definitely a lot of flavor notes that's missing from the previous one. I should note that the fact that it's soft doesn't necessarily mean that that's pure because you can also make a not pure version and not cook it down as far so that there's more moisture left in it so it will still be soft like in thailand you can buy um, either the soft kind or the hard kind just for depending on it, the soft kind is easier to use because you can just spoon it um, the hard kind you have to kind of chop it but if you leave this long enough it will eventually dry out and harden as well so don't go with like softness as an indication of purity go with flavor smooth texture um, that's the main thing. Now I will say that this, chances are you're not going to be able to find outside of Thailand. I actually got this from a small local market from the, in the province where they make palm sugar. And this is a specialty store where the only thing they sold was palm sugar. And they had like different types of palm sugar, one from coconut trees, one from the toddy palm trees, different kinds, the hard kind, the soft, like it, they were very clearly sugar special vendors so i have not been able to find anything outside of thailand that tastes remotely like this but that's okay it doesn't mean like it's it, you know all hope is lost the middle one is perfectly fine and even if this is the only one you can get you, you deal with what you got right so how can you tell when you are at the store because you can't taste it i would say go for one that's more expensive likely if you have a choice that's going to be the one that's more pure also if you look and one looks more granular than the other then the one that looks smoother is probably a little bit more pure so if in when in doubt just buy both of them and taste they're not they're not super expensive and you can always use them in in what in wherever you would normally use sugar and I want to talk about another coconut sugar product that has recently entered the market because all of a sudden anything coconut is healthy and trendy and hipster. And so, you know, this is the fancy one that you can find in like health food stores or whatever. Is it the same thing? And I'll show you the inside. It's very dark. It looks almost like dark brown sugar. It's dry. It's granulated. It is made from the same stuff, but the processing is very different. And this stuff tastes very different. Um, how can I describe it to you? It's very toasty. 
Like it's almost like they cooked down pretty far, almost a little smoky, a little burnt toast-ish. So this is not a good one to use in Thai recipes that call for palm sugar because it has a whole nother kind of flavor that does not exist in Thai palm sugar. Just FYI. I get this one a lot. Is palm sugar the same as jaggery? So yes and no. Jaggery is a term that's used to refer to any unrefined chunk of sugar. So yes, palm sugar is a type of jaggery, but you can also have jaggery that's made from cane juice. Sugar cane juice, cook it down, cook it down, cook it down until it's thick. You get a chunk very similar to this, and that's also called jaggery, but it's made from cane sugar instead. So it's one of those like all palm sugar is jaggery, but not all jaggery is palm sugar situation. Now, let's talk about how to use palm sugar. If your palm sugar comes in a block like this, as I showed you earlier, I like to just chop it with a knife. And I find that I just chop however much I need. And it's relatively easy, especially if it's not old. If your palm sugar is really old, it just dries and dries and dries in your cupboard. And then this becomes very hard and really hard to chop. If you find the chopping too difficult, try mortar and pestle, where I'll add one in and I'll just like bang it until it breaks apart. It's harder for ones that are moister because it just kind of like gives. But if you've got one that's dry, say like this one, it will break right away like that. And so, you know, and then it's, it crumbles apart like that. So it just kind of depends also on the kind of sugar that you have. Some people like to grate it with a box grater and if your palm sugar is relatively soft, that actually works really well. I find chopping is easier than I don't have to deal with a big box grater, which I hate washing. It always takes up so much space. Um, but also sometimes palm sugar comes not in a puck, but in a tub, like a jar of jam. And sometimes it's soft enough that you can spoon, which is great. But other times it sits there for a while and it's hard, solid, like block of palm sugar in a glass jar and you just have no idea what to do. In that case, put it in the microwave, heat it up a little bit. Once it warms up, use a spoon to scoop it out, but then you want to use it pretty quickly because once it uh, cools down, it'll harden again. So, but you know, it's doable. How to store palm sugar. Nothing special here is sugar stored like you would normally sugar, except you want to make sure it's well sealed because as I mentioned, there's moisture in it and if it dries out, it becomes harder to deal with. So, you know, like a airtight container is good, a Ziploc bag is good, but otherwise just in dry storage. Finally, the most common question, what can I use instead? So it depends. If a recipe calls for just like a little bit of palm sugar, say in like a curry or something where I use like two teaspoons of palm sugar, you can just use white sugar. Not a problem there. You've got lots of other flavors going on. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. Um, if it's a main flavor, like say in Pad Thai where like it, it's a main sweetener, it's going to contribute to the flavor in the end, I would go with light brown sugar. That's the best. I have seen people also use maple syrup to sort of get some, you know, an extra layer of flavor. It's going to obviously taste mapley, but hey, I think it might be delicious. So try that out. Um, I would maybe not go with super dark brown sugar because the molasses flavor might be a bit too strong. But otherwise, yeah, light brown sugar is sort of a, a good generic substitution. And that is it. If you've got more questions about palm sugar, get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or on my website, hotthaikitchen.com, and I would be happy to answer them. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an episode like this, and click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.